In this video, we're going to talk about the domain and the range of a natural logarithm and in ex natural exponential functions, right? I mean, simple one. Uh, as you can see in the graph here, we have in, um, in blue the e function, which is this function here, e to the x. Let me put it in the corresponding color, e to the x. And in this one here, kind of a red or something like that, this is the log function. Okay, the natural log function of x. These two functions are inverse to each other and they are symmetrical with respect to x to the line y equal to x. Meaning that something like this for the line here in between, uh, what color am I going to take here? Okay, this one here, they are symmetrical to this line here. Something like that. Okay, they are symmetrical to this line here, x, y equal to, to x. I can put it, this is here, y equal to x. Okay, and uh, we will start now with the domain. Uh, we see in the previous video that the domain of the function is all about the, uh, the x values, right? So, um, we will see, as you can see here, the domain here, the x value, it is from zero. The log, natural log, is defined only in this, you know, section here, from zero to plus infinity. So its domain is going to be zero to plus infinity. Okay, and its range, the range we said we're talking about the y values of the function. Okay, anything that is uh, in this section, I mean, on this line here, that's what we can read. So you can see we're starting here from minus infinity to plus infinity, right? So its range will be minus infinity to plus infinity. And here, as we said here, the log of zero, okay? The log, because uh, anything you plug in here, in this function here, any negative value you plug in the log here, means the log doesn't exist. And so we started at zero. So again, the domain of the natural log is from this, from zero here, you know, gone to plus infinity. This is here the domain of the log function, right? And its range will be from minus infinity to plus infinity or the y axis. So it's going down this. That will be its range. All right. Now we will talk about the e function. This is the e function right here. As you can see, its domain is covering the whole, you know, from minus infinity. It really doesn't matter what value you plug in. In x here, you're gonna have a positive number or value out of it. So it means that its domain here will be from minus infinity to plus infinity. Minus infinity to plus infinity. This is the domain of so we're going all along the x-axis having different value from negative value to positive value. So this is the whole thing. So we can put it just like this, saying that the domain of E function will be going this way. This is the, the domain of E function in blue. And now, what, what about its range? So we're talking about the y-axis. So its range will also be from it's starting at as you can see, it's starting at zero. Okay, we don't have any value, you know, any negative value on the on the y-axis. So starting at zero and going to plus infinity. So it's the it's uh what about it? its range? Okay, its range will be between zero, and zero is included, zero and plus infinity. So now just take, check this out. We say from the very beginning that these two functions are inverse to each, each other, right? So you can check it this here. The range of the log function is actually the domain of the E function. And the domain of the E function is the range of the E function. So that's how we can say that they are symmetrical so with respect to this line here, y equal to, to x. Oh, sure, I forgot to to put the uh, the range yeah this is here the range of 
the E function. Now, what we can learn here is that the domain, I mean, the, the natural log and the E function, natural the exponential function, are inverse function to each other. And that the domain of the natural log is the range of the E function and vice versa. And the range of the natural log is the domain of the E function and vice versa.